Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today this alien has a little message to send. So we're using the outside in stitched rectangle in sugar plum and white, the smallest Polaroid from Say Cheese Again, five of those, some black licorice cardstock, and this is Beam Me Up, You're Just My Type, Screen Time, So Smooth, Rub a Dub Dub, Christmas Dreams, Simply Celebrate Spring, and Harold's ABCs. So we're going to start with some jet black ink because I'm going to be Copic coloring today. And this is the inside panel of the card. I wiped away a little bit of that beam so that it was hovering over the one house because this alien is just visiting one house. And I put a piece of paper down and as a mask and there he is in there. So I'm just cleaning up some of my lines and where I wipe too much away on that beam. Now for the Polaroid photos. So I'm wiping away a little, the well, the fire on the inside of this fireplace. And I'm going to mask that just like I did before. I'm not making any fancy masks today. I'm just going to use some paper along the way. So there he is inside the fireplace and a little bit of the rug there. You won't see much because these are just little Polaroids. So there's the tub and the bubbles and again just masking that a bit and we've got our little guy in there. So for the bigger items like the fireplace and the bathtub I'm using the smaller of the two images. There's a big alien and a small alien but they look the same. So here's the desk and the typewriter and he's looking from behind there. Now I'm going to use the bigger one on this one. There he is peeking around and then he got in the kitchen too. So here's the blender and everything. I, st I stamped a lot of these things twice but I'm only showing you once because you don't have to watch me stamp twice. That's one nice thing about the Misty is you can stamp it over and over to get a real clean image. So there he is. You can see him through the glass of the blender. And then I lost his little foot there. So I'm just going to move my mask and stamp that down again so that he's fully on the scene. A little milk next to him. Almond milk for his smoothie. And then here is the computer or the TV and the gaming system. I don't know which one he's using there. Maybe the PS4? <laughs> so I'm going to mask that up, both the game and the monitor, the screen, and stamp him playing on that. And now I want to get his foot, so I'm going to put the mask back on and just stamp that down. So all my little vignettes are stamped out and it's time to decide how I'm going to put these into the photos. So I'm taking a Polaroid and I'm just drawing all the way around where I would like the image to show through. And then when I cut these out, I'll cut the Polaroid, but all that will cut out of the picture is the square piece. I'm deciding how I want that those uh, images in the photos so that you get the most out of it and you can tell what it is we're looking at. Okay, well here they are all cut out and we're going to start with him at the desk and I'm coloring the alien the same all the way through. So I won't show you the coloring of the alien each time but I'll just show you this one time so that you can see how I did them all. And so I used a V12 and a V15. And then I come in with a darker color. This is the V17. Just give those very uh, edges of the shadows. And I have a little bit under his eyes so that they look like they're closer forward, that they're a little bugged out there. <laughs> And so I'm blending it in with the V15, a little bit more, and then uh, blend the all, 
all the way out with the V12. My shadows here are mainly in the lower left, but especially here because he's peeking out from that typewriter and desk, so that's where the shadow would be. So now I'm just coloring up the desk in an E21 and E23. And I'll come back in with the E21 and just blend that out. I decided that the typewriter is going to be green, so this is a YG61. It's kind of fun with these typewriters because you can color them whatever color you want. So this is a YG63, and I'm putting in some shadows there, and then a YG67 to put in some deeper shadows in where the keys are. So there he is in the home office. And, oh, I want to put in some gray in his eyes, just in the corner, so that it looks like they're a bit rounded. And we're on to the next one now. Now he's in the tub. So <laughs> he got around. All right, so I'm coloring the tub so that it will look white. But I wanted some shadows on there. So this is a C0. And with a C1, I'll come under that rim there and down a little and curve the top and then I would need it a little darker so this is a C2 and then I'll just blend that in with the C0. Now once I have that it's time for those bubbles and the way I'm doing these bubbles I'm just putting in a curved line with different colors and the curves or the lines are going to be in the same place for each color so it's going to give it kind of an iridescent look so here's the soap and then i'm going to blend that out and use that same color in my bubbles and then a little v12 just a little bit in each of those bubbles as well that one's all set and we're on to the gaming system and <laughs> so I don't know where they have this, probably the family room. So he's in the family room now, and I just colored that all up in a C4, and now I'm putting in the shadows with a C6, and then I'll come in and blend it up to the C4 by using the C5, and then the C4. I gotta wonder what he's playing. Probably Space Invaders. <laughs> All right, well, a C6 and then C2 for the gaming system. And then I'm just going to put in a few shadows and a couple of contrasts in the different parts of the device. And then give it a red button and a blue button. All right, that one's all set and we're in the kitchen now. He pulled out the Vitamix blender and he's ready to make a smoothie. So that's the C6 and I'm just coloring the different buttons and gadgets. The, you know, just kind of keeping it neutral because I want him to be the main focus. But I will put in a few uh, colors just to give it some interest. Now you may have noticed that I haven't colored the backgrounds yet. I kind of wanted to wait till I was all done to see what colors I would use together. All right, this is a B00 and I'm just indicating the shape and, and the fact that it's glass. So some curved lines there and uh, lines right over his eye because the eye is behind the blender. And then the almond milk container that's going to be a B21 and blend that with a B24. So I'm bringing in some other colors with the blue and then um, I'm also putting in some red. I'll put a red stripe on this blender. So there's just some small bits of color but it keeps the focus on our on our little purple guy there. So that one's all set and it's time for the fireplace. Just putting in the wood, the log, with an E21 and E23. Now, why he checked out the fireplace, I don't I don't know. <laughs> but 
Maybe it was new to him, or maybe that's how he got into the house in the first place. All right, this is a C6 to put in the back of the fireplace. And now for the hearth and the mantle, those are going to be cement. So they'll be a C2. And just shade those in with a C3. And then the fireplace itself, the brick is going to be red, but I didn't want it to be a bright, bright red. So I used the R24 and I colored the whole thing. And then I took a C3 and colored over the R24, kind of graze it down, makes it a little more like a brick red. And then I'm just putting in some interest into those bricks with the R27 and the C4. And just going around the bottom edges of all those bricks just to get some uh, texture. All right, a B21 carpet or rug and B24. And then it's time to decide what I'm going to color, how I'm going to color the background. So I'm going to start with a little wood floor in the living room by the fireplace and the walls in that living room are going to be blue to match that rug. You really don't see too much of those walls in this photo but now we're into the kitchen and we've got a yellow kitchen so this is a Y00 and I could have put a line in there indicating where the counter and the wall meet but I wanted to keep it kind of simple. So you can see I'm putting in a lighter shade of yellow behind the glass. And then for the bottom of the photo, I'm using a Y11 and I'll blend that up with the Y00. And that just gives you the idea that that's the bottom. And now we are in the family room and they have a green family room, I've decided. So I'm kind of keeping these colors similar throughout my photos so I don't have too many different colors coming into the into this already very busy uh, front of my card. So I put in the YG63 and blended that up with the YG61 and now we have another blue room. The home office is blue and Again, some B24, and then I'll blend that up with the B21 just to show, I don't know, just to indicate it's the bottom of the photo. Another yellow room. This is the bathroom, and it's a Y00. And then, again, I'm going to put that Y11 on the bottom and blend that up with the Y00. And for this video, I'm just focusing on the coloring of the front of the card, and I colored the inside of the card off camera. So we're on to the sentiments, and I love this. So this is clear ink, and I'm using the Herald's ABCs, and I already put them on my acrylic blocks. So there's hospitality, invade, and space. And I made the invade in capitals, and the other ones in lowercase, but I never had to reuse a letter. Those letters were all there in the Herald's ABCs. So I put on some white embossing powder and heat set that so that they're melted. And now I'm going to do some partial stamping. So this is You Did It, and that's from Jump for Joy. And so I'm just stamping out the did it part, and you'll see I'm gonna change that later on. And this is I Love You from Critter Chatter. I'm just using the letter I, and I'm gonna flip it around because I should have stamped that first, but since it's an I, I can stamp it upside down. So it says I did it, but that will change. And now this is uh, Your from Yeti or Not, and Thanks from Thanks a Latte, and I decided to stamp that again. I wasn't happy with my stamping. I will put some embossing powder on all of those and melt those with my heat gun. And now a few more. The next one is For Your Kindness from Jump for Joy. So if you were saying thank you for your kindness, but I'm just gonna use the For Your. 
and then the I from I am deeply in love with you from you are sublime that time I did the I first and hope and this is from hope you have a sublime birthday also from you are sublime once I have these all stamped out I'm going to cut them into strips so that I can piece them together on the outside and inside of my card. Now with the embossing ink pen, I'm going to clean up where I didn't stamp well enough on that S, but here's what I'm going to do to change up I did it. So I'm putting a line down, a line across, and a small little line, and so it's going to change into I didn't. So put a little powder on the S and on the I didn't. And then I'll melt that and it's time to put this card together. I put some adhesive on my stitched sugar plum cardstock panel for the front. And this is the inside panel, all colored up now. I do color it a little bit more later, but you'll see that on the photos. And now I can put on those photo uh, Polaroids where I think I want them. I change this up a lot though, so uh, they're just kind of sort of where I want them. And then with the glue tube, I can adhere those down. I used the Sugar Plum cardstock because I wanted that to match my alien. He's the one constant in all of these photos. So I thought that would be a good background for it. Oh, and then I decided probably a good idea to put those sentiment strips in there and see how those photos work around with that. So once I have those in there, I can adhere some more of my photos, the Polaroids, and the thanks for your hospitality, those move around a lot. So look at the final uh, product to see how they finally land on the front of this card. All right, now that I have those all glued, I can put in those pictures. So he's in the fireplace and with the blender and with the gaming device, his PS4. And that's the tub and the typewriter. So now I can just uh, take my tape runner and adhere those all in. So he came for a visit and took a lot of photos for a scrapbook and also to use on his thank you card. I'll cut off the parts of the Polaroids that are hanging off the edges of the card and then the front is done. So I'm just going to put the sentiment onto the inside and I did most of that already. So you'll see, thanks for your hospitality and I hope I didn't invade your space. I hope you enjoyed the card today and it sparked your imagination to use different lawn fawn stamps together in a new way. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.